and welcome to Heartbeats. My name is Sister Patricia Hayes, and I'll be spending the next little time with you, maybe next 15 to 20 minutes. If you've signed on to Heartbeats, you've expressed an interest in exploring the deeper questions that surround your life and are looking for aids to assist in that exploration. In your time with me, we are going to use a poem entitled, Who Would Have Thought? You can access it by clicking the attached link. You can pause this video while you find the poem. When you found it and are ready to resume, restart the video. I'll be using the following process. I will read the poem through slowly out loud. That will be followed by a brief period of silence. Then I'll read the poem again, followed again by a brief period of silence. You can either follow along by reading with me or closing your eyes and letting the words and images wash over you. I myself am a visual learner, so reading along works best for me, but you know your own style, so do what works best for you. Following the two readings of the poem, I'm going to pose some questions which might help us unpack the poem and make a connection with our lives. So let's begin. Who would have thought? Knowing would as you did, did you ever imagine it would be more malleable than the human heart? We'll take some quiet now. Rereading the poem again. Knowing would as you did, did you ever imagine it would be more malleable than the human heart?
I'm writing this reflection the week prior to Valentine's Day, so I'm seeing hearts everywhere. What do you feel when you consider the word heart? What words come to mind when you hear that word? What memories or images get stirred? Pause the video and reflect for however long you feel called to do so on these questions. You may know someone who has a heart condition. That often implies something unhealthy related to the heart. Might it also mean something more emotionally related? What might that be? Do you have a heart condition? The scriptures, especially the readings related to Relent, speak about hardness of heart or the call to soften the heart. How is your heart right now? Are you experiencing hardness of heart around a person, situation, or issue? If so, what might have contributed to it? What might aid in softening your heart? What might be God's invitation in considering the possibility of softening your heart in regards to a particular person, situation, or issue? Pause the video and reflect for however long you feel called to do so on these questions. On the other hand, is there a situation or issue around which you are feeling too soft-hearted? What is causing you to assess yourself as too soft-hearted? What might aid in hardening your heart around this particular person, situation, or issue? How might God hold you and your heart and be with you in this process? Again, pause the video and reflect for however long you feel called to do so on these questions. When you feel it is time to leave this time of quiet, say a word of gratitude for the time and the quiet. Thank yourself for honoring yourself and taking this time. You may find it helpful to journal about your experience during this time. You might find yourself called to draw what you experienced or write your own poem about it. Stay in touch with what you experienced and honor how your heart and soul may be inviting you to express yourself. Thank you for visiting Heartbeats. May your life be richer for having done so.